Large mouth coming up. Ooh. Oh, chunky monkey. Mouse sandwich. Mouse sandwich. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Nice, Molly. You can't go anywhere with the little Gamagatsu EWGs, brother. Nice. Small Hey guys, it's Bill Cimentel, Spro Pro, and the designer of the full line of Spro BBZ1 baits. And we have a new little member of the family. A few years ago I came out with the BBZ1 Rat 50, 40, and 30. This year at ICAST 2017, we're going to debut the BBZ1 Mouse. Now we're going to talk a little bit about this. This is uh, going to be a little bit in depth. so. If you have questions or anything like that, hopefully I can answer them right now. We're going to go over, first of all, the bait itself. Hey guys, let's talk about the bait itself and the proportions on it. This is Spro 2.5 BBZ1 Mouse. Okay, It's approximately 4 and 3 quarters inches overall length. The body itself is 2 and a half inches long. It's going to have Spro number 2 power split rings, 35 pound test. It's going to come with Gamagatsu size 6 EWG short shank. They're not going to marry. They're going to fit proportionally on this bait. It's going to give you a big enough bite to catch these fish that hit it. And it weighs approximately 5 sixteenths of an ounce. As of right now, this is a broken back crankbait subsurface. This will dive about 2 foot and it will barely suspend. There's a very, very slight uprise on this bait. When you stop it, if you keep pressure on your line, it's going to hold in place but there's a ways to modify it. Real quick, we're gonna talk about the bait and how to modify it, okay? This bait, when you get it out of the box, it's gonna come with two EWG Gamagatsu short shank trebles, okay? Now, if you want a little bit bigger bite, like a round bend, all you have to do is take your pliers, grab the arms, and bend them out oh so slightly, okay? And that's gonna give you a little bit bigger bite, but you're still gonna have the capability of keeping that EWG arm in there for better hooking and holding power. Now, with the EWGs, the short shank EWG size 6, your bait, you're going to be able to crank it down and it's going to get down in about a foot and a half to two foot of water. When you stop it, it's going to have a very, very slight uprise or it's going to suspend. It's right there. It's such a small finesse bait. It's real particular, okay? But here's the cool thing about it. Go out and get yourself a pack of EWG short shank size 6 round bins. This is a little bit heavier wire. If you replace these hooks, which are the right size for this bait, this bait will actually slow sink. It will drop about, oh my gosh, a foot maybe every 5 or 6 seconds, a little bit longer. It can go down to probably 10 foot of water and suspend off the hooks. So you can use this at a deeper depth by changing the hooks. If it floats up just a little bit and you really want it to suspend, take a round bend EWG, 
replace it on one of the hooks and that's going to give it just enough weight where it's going to go down there and suspend. I usually put the round pins on the back because I'm going to have the nose forward anyways with the bill diving so it's going to be able to suspend horizontally in the water better. That's the key to this little bait. As you guys can see this thing has been chewed up. I don't know how many fish I've caught on it, probably over a hundred testing it but it's the time that we take the Spro Pros going out there and testing these baits, building these baits and modifying them, making sure that these things are working exactly the way they're supposed to out of the box for you. But like I said out here, little modifications, you can really adjust this thing. This is not a wake bait. This is not a wake bait. This is a subsurface broken back square bill in a mouse shape that has a size profile sound of the most incredible little square bill crankbait, finesse bait you'll ever, ever use. This thing works, it catches a big fish and a ton of them, okay, and all species. Now, we're going to get into equipment. I've tried a bunch of different rods and reel setups. Here's what I prefer. You guys could use whatever you want. This is the best setup I could find for the highest hit to hookup ratio and land ratio, okay. I'm using the Daiwa Zillion 701 MLFS. It's a lighter tip rod. You need it. These fish are crushing this bait. They're hammering it, okay? Lighter rod tip. I'm pairing it up with a Daiwa Ballistic 2000. I have 20 pound test Maxima Braid. I'm experimenting from the, the line weight from 6 pound test up to 10 pound. Right here, I have 10 pound test Maxima Fluorocarbon. I only have a couple of these. I don't want to lose them. It's not affecting the action. It's not affecting anything except it's catching fish and it's giving me a little bit more strength that when I hook in these bigger fish if I'm around cover or structure, I'm a little bit more secure <laughs> with my bait because I don't want to lose these things. So that's the equipment I'm using right there. That's the rod and reel setup on that. Going back into the bait itself, a lot of guys are going to say, how do you work this bait? The best technique I've found is just throwing it out, letting it hit on the surface, cranking it down and doing a slow steady wind. The action of this bait, the sound, the vibration, the depth, getting it subsurface in that foot and a half to two foot zone, it is absolutely de deadly. Now, modifying it, if it's suspended or when it comes with the EWG short shanks, you're going to be able to bring this up to a rock pile, brush, edge of grass, over a hump, by tree limb, by tule edges. You can crank this down in two foot of water, and when you get by certain cover and structure elements, you can stop it, twitch it, real light twitches, and drop your rod tip back, even underwater, you're gonna be able to really kick this thing back and forth, almost like the walk of the dog subsurface. You can troll this thing. I'm catching fish, you'll see on the video. I'm trolling it catching fish. Um, you could throw it on the water, dead stick it, and just pop it and let it sit there. It's going to catch fish. Remember, you could also twerk it. If, you're, if you have bait fish that are really small, the biggest thing that I'm noticing, these fish are hitting it so hard that I have to use a lighter rod, uh, I have to use a lighter rod tip. I have to use a lighter drag. They're crushing it. I'm catching trout. I'm catching bass on it, smallmouth, largemouth. I'm catching stripers on it. I've caught bluegill on it. It's caught a lot of different species and they're crushing. Hey guys, when you look at the Spro BBZ1 lineup of the rat plus the mouse now, what we're doing is we're giving you the water column to fish. Top water, the Rat 50, it is the best waking walking bait there is, period. It's already proven itself. When you drop in size as the bait shrinks, there's not as much surface area that's still filled with foam. So this is a, this is a solid core bait it dives more so as you get smaller with the bait and less less surface area with the same angle of that bill it's going to dive and, and stay down deeper so the rat 50 is going to be an unbelievable ultimate topwater wake bait the rat 40 still works really good but you could crank it down you can get it down there about six inches to a foot on a fast retrieve the rat 30 you really have to slow it down to keep it on the surface but if you start cranking it it goes subsurface quicker the 2.5 is a subsurface bait. It is not a topwater bait. This is a subsurface. This is a finesse bait, guys. If you go out there and you use 
a bait caster rod with 50 pound braid with a drag set and you get clobbered on this you will pull split rings you will well you won't pull split rings these things are bulletproof but you will bend out hooks this is a finesse bait so you have to use finesse equipment this is for the kids if you want to go use the zebco push button rods and reels little trout rods um i'm using a really light drop shot rod you know a split shot rod soft rod tip that's the key that's what you want to use on this bait and that's going to take you to a whole new level of fishing because this thing is a completely different animal so make sure you guys check out the bbz.com for more information coming up about the spro bbz1 2.5 mouse check out the spro facebook page and spro.com for more information on where you can pick these up if they're pre-ordered we're going to have more information from icast 2017 in florida just in about a month but i wanted to come out here today get my boat on the water and do some more testing and I'm going to show you some fish catches. So so I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you check back soon for more information about the Spro BBZ1 2.5 mouse. Oh, nice small mouse. That thing came up and just took it right off the surface. Oh, nice, smallie. <laughs> That's a good smallie right there. Striper. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that chunk, e monkey, look at that, big old bass, look at that big old bass, God, he choked it. Small mouth, large mouth, striper. <laughs> Good large mouth. Something stopped it. Woo! Big old chunky bass. Big old chunky bass. Look at that. This is mighty. Spro BBZ1 mouse. Spro BBZ1 mouse, baby. That thing. Is mighty, mighty, mighty. Oh, he barely hit, barely hit, barely hit. But my gamma got you little EWGs work really well. Oh, peg him. Look at that hook set, man. Good solid bass. Oh, look at that chunky. Look at that chunky monkey. Nice. Oh, look at that chunk. Look at that chunk. Lucky. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Ooh, ooh, something made it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this donkey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Billy. You know, this thing catches big fish just as easy as it catches small fish, guys. Oh. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Oh, he choked it. He choked it. <laughs> Look at that thing, guys. Look at that friggin' monster. <laughs> oh, look at that thing, man. Look at that thing. That thing choked it.
<laughs> Big old bass. Okay, guys. That was a pretty incredible day. Um, I don't know how many fish I caught. I caught some really solid, solid fish. Missed a few here and there, but um, this little bait, the Spro BBZ1 2.5 mouse, it's a serious player. This thing is different. It's a subsurface broken back, swimming, almost suspending 2.5 finesse monster catcher. Um, I caught all kinds of fish today, smallmouth and largemouth and stripers. Um, in testing, I've caught bluegill already on it. I've caught big trout on it already. Um, I haven't caught a catfish or a crappie, but that's going to come pretty soon too. Incredible day on the water. Um, the proof is there that this thing is a very viable bait um, for beginners to the pros for catching fish. And uh, make sure you guys check out more information on the bbz.com and the Spro website and Spro USA Facebook page. We're going to put more information when it's coming out. Um, we should be showing it at ICAST in about a month or so. We're going to have colors. So as that information comes up, I'll make sure I post it on uh, Spro's website and my website so you guys have that information. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, just a long day, caught a lot of fish, actually kind of sore. I'm going to go back, uh, put some new string on the rod and probably go fishing again tomorrow. But hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any information that you need to ask me about or, you know, questions about this bait, my email is bill at the bbz.com. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's kind of lengthy, but it was well worth it. So we'll catch you next time out in the water.